What's up? My name is Nick Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in this quick video, I'll be showing you how to sideload apps onto the Windows 11 Android subsystem. In my previous video, I wasn't able to get it working, but in this video, I'll show you how to get it working. I have the Windows subsystem for Android already installed. If you don't already have this, make sure to download it using the guide in the description down below. Don't worry, it supports unsupported computers. Anyways, when you open up the WSA, you'll see the screen here. If your IP address is blank and clicking refresh doesn't do anything to help it, make sure to just click the button up here next to files and it should start the WSA. And once you see an IP like this after clicking refresh, then the WSA is started up and is running properly, meaning that we can now sideload applications if we so please. If you see a window that pops up looking something like this, you can simply close out of it. So now that the WSA is started up, let's start sideloading applications. There's two things you'll need. Not only the application's APK file, which I don't think I'll be able to show you how to download off the Google Play Store here. I'm pretty sure it breaks TOS of some kind. But of course, there's other platforms and ways that you can get APKs. What you will need, however, is the Android Platform Tools SDK. In the description down below, you'll find a link to a website this one over here. Simply scroll down to downloads and then download the platform tools for Windows. Scroll down to the bottom, agree and download once again. Then an 11 megabyte file will download. We'll click on it to open it up when it's done. Then you'll see this. All we need to do is extract platform tools and close out of the zip. You can delete it if you like. Then once it's extracted, open it up and right click inside of the folder to open a new terminal. Now we'll be running some commands in here. If you've ever used ADB to control an Android phone, it's exactly the same here. Dot slash ADB space connect space followed by the IP address of our WSA. In my case, 172.30.90.175. I'll hit enter and it should connect. Even though it said failed to authenticate, it seems to be already connected. Now we can simply install something. For this example, I'll be installing, say, Amogus. I'll copy and paste it right next to ADB. If you don't want to have it next to the ADB EXE, you'll need to put the file location and name in quotes instead of just having the file name. So dot slash ADB install followed by the file's name. In my case, Amogus. I'll simply press enter and it should perform a streamed install. After it says success, the program has successfully been installed on the WSA. You can usually hit start and you'll see the applications listed here. All apps, Among Us. I don't even have Steam or any other app store on my PC. So this is the WSA. Awesome. So I'll click on it to start it up. And it's starting up here. It's incredibly slow because I'm on a rather slow laptop at the moment. And as simply as that, we're dropped into the main menu for Among Us. On top of this, I've heard that the Minecraft APK works pretty well and a couple of other applications, of course. One of the things you could use this for is playing Among Us for free, for example, instead of having to buy it on other platforms. Previously, you had to use something like Bluestacks, for example. On top of this, maybe you'd want something like Snapchat. Let's see how that would install. So I've copied in the Snapchat APK. I can simply install Snapchat just like that. And after it's installed, I should be able to start it up. Search for Snapchat, nothing. Hmm. How about the Ookla speed test? Nothing again. I have got developer mode on, diagnostic data on. Maybe we should just try restarting the WSA. And after it eventually shuts down, I'll turn it on by clicking the files up here once again. Nothing still. Well, anyway, something else that I've heard of working pretty well is using the Aurora App Store. You'll find a link in the description down below to download the APK for this. This way you won't need to download and manually install multiple APKs. Let's try this slash adb install and this is com dot aurora store apk although i do need to connect it again with the correct ip that is now i should be able to run the command let's try running disconnect then connecting and then installing there we go it's now installed let's have a look and see if we have it here once again no very odd i think this maybe just has something to do with my laptop being unreasonably slow hmm okay i yeah, know it was definitely just my laptop being slow here's all the shortcuts and after restarting Windows Explorer, they're now showing up here. Anyways, let's try firing up. I think I installed Snapchat first. Able to run without Google Play services. All right. How about, say, speedtest.net? Yep, this seems to definitely be working properly using my full speed of my internet. Awesome. What about, say, TikTok? 
Same thing here. I would assume this works well. That definitely seems to be working, though with remote desktop and my laptop being slow, it is of course rather slow. Awesome. And finally, the Aurora Storm. So as far as they're here, you can install third-party app stores, such as the Aurora Store. This just seems to be the most popular one, and you should be able to install APKs directly from it. So let's set this up. And as you can see, you're able to use the scroll wheel instead of having to manually scroll it yourself by clicking and dragging. I think I can just click next here. I'll leave everything as is and grant permission to storage, external storage manager and the installer permission here. Next. And finally, I'll leave it as anonymous. We go, the Aurora App Store. Awesome, let's try and install, say, Instagram. Actually, I think I need a login for that. How about we just check out the top charts here? How about something simple like Reddit? Now I'll click install here, install, and let's try opening it from here, but you can also open it from your start bar. Now I think GSF is Google Store Framework or something like that. Apps may not work without Google Play installed, and I don't think you're able to install it on the WSA. Here we go, I'll skip for now, and it doesn't seem to be loading anything, but our art, no, there we go, it's definitely loading things as it's supposed to. So. The WSA is working properly. We successfully sideloaded apps using APKs and of course, third-party app stores. If you'd like to see more videos on this topic, make sure to check the description down below. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.